Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the 18th video in the series Mad About Python and in this video we'll be seeing how you can remove the labels from your root widget using the delete function or the destroy function in tkinter. Now if you see in the last video if I run this program we have learned how you can use the font parameter to give height to your entry fields. So this was the message box when you click this it gives hello and the username you have given inside the entry field. Now the problem with this program was when I give something else like this and click it the hello Sam message still stays here and the next one comes down because we are using pack this happened but if you use grid you can position this well but the problem is the message Sam still stays on the label and if I give something else like this and still the other two messages remains there and the third one is pushed down now this problem can be solved by using the delete method you can give a delete button to clear it or you can simply destroy the widget so what we'll do is and uh, if you are new to this video you can just refer the previous video I'll leave the link in the description and if you see this video the first uh, seven lines will be same we use the configure to give background color like gray you can give anything or you can just simply remove this to give the default white color background and uh, here we have created a function clicked which is when a uh, user clicks the button it will print the message hello and the username from the entry widget e is the variable where the entry widget is created and your button here is for the summit part so if you want to clear that label we can just create a delete button for that so you can give delete button and it will be type button inside your root and the text will be delete text okay so it will take command also so command and I just uh, name this delete for now okay delete and then we will pack this since you are using the packing method in this program so we'll use pack throughout so delete button and you pack this using some padding let's just give pad y 10 and pad x also 10 okay so you have your delete button but the command is delete which is not defined yet and we can define the command right here so we'll go def delete now inside this you want to destroy the label so your label here is nothing but my label now the problem here is you can't use the label inside the delete function because this is declared inside the clicked function this is not a global variable so you will face errors if you don't declare the label as global so once you have done that you can simply go to the top part of this program and use the keyword global now your global variable will be my label now once you have given global to this variable it can be used in any other function outside the clicked function so now you can use my label so we can use my label my label dot destroy and uh, that's it now when I click this and run it then we'll give some value like this hello John when I click delete text it will go I can give some other value when I click this and delete text and it'll go that is the function destroy you have used here now oh, there is one more problem with this program also when I run this as you can see uh, when you give one value here and you click this this stays 
but when you click delete it will go but I click and then I give some other value and then click user the first one still stays when I click delete the last one only goes so how do you solve this like when the user has given only one value after the delete button has been clicked then only you can enter the next value now there's a simple solution for that you can give the state of the button now this is a new concept uh, to you I think inside the delete you can give state and inside the my click or the click function you can give another state of the button so you can see here label dot destroyed so your button name you can see here is delete button and uh, sorry your button name is b1 which is for the click user yeah correct so i want this button to be in a disabled state when one value is given and then bring it back to the normal state when the delete button has been clicked so to do that we can give b1 and inside square brackets you can give state and i want the state to be in normal yep and same way for the clicked i want this state to be disabled when one value is given so i give b1 and state then this i want to be disabled yeah so disabled state when one value is given and uh, bring it back to normal when delete button has been clicked now let's run this program and try yup so i'll type my name enter hello anshuman now you can see this is no longer highlighted i cannot click this button but i can only click delete so once delete is clicked it will become highlighted so this is the functionality where you can only delete the text and then give some other value like this again click it then after deleting only you can give other value i cannot click this button now so that was the fix you can give to your program also i want to give one last uh, last parameter in this video I think uh, we have time left so in the delete state if you see you can uh, see there is nothing printed on to the terminal right here and just in case if you want to see whether this button really worked you can just give a print statement here and inside print you can give the button name and dot widget information the win stands for widget info so w info and give underscore exists now this is a inbuilt function which will return the value either in 0 or 1 to your terminal to just show whether the button worked if the button worked it will return a value 1 if the button didn't work it will return a value of 0 so when I run this program again and just keep your eyes on the terminal okay so I give some value here I click okay and when I click delete just keep your eye on the terminal yeah as you can see this has returned a value 1 that means your button worked so that was a, a trick or a, a hack you can call it whatever so this is just to bring your widget information to your terminal just to see whether your button worked or not all right so that was it for this video and i will see you in the next one